In this video, I'd like to go over water-fed polling a French pane cut-up window. Here we're installing the 5 16 water-fed pole hose into the brush. We're using the pencil jets, making sure there's no debris inside the brush. I'm just gonna set this brush down here and uh, go over and remove the screen. Setting the brush down in an area where it's not gonna collect any debris is very important. If you set it on the ground, make sure the brush is face up. We're gonna use a flathead screwdriver and in the corner of the screen, just like in the other screen removing videos, removing that screen uh, so we can clean the window behind it. You can also scrub the screen with a water-fed pole. This screen just wasn't that dirty, so we're just gonna clean that up with a microfiber later. Um, we're gonna start by adjusting the brush head, making sure that it's in a position so when we start cleaning the glass, it's flat on the glass, a very important step to remember. That brush always needs to be flat on the glass. Extending the pole to the desired length so we can reach the window. Here I'm starting at the top, um, holding that water-fed pole hose so it don't get caught up in the bushes. I'm going to start by scrubbing the corners and sides of the glass, the frame and the mullions, <clears throat> making sure we get all that dirt loosened off the window so when we go to rinse, it rinses all that loose debris and dirt away. Essentially, using a water-fed pole is just like using a mop and squeegee in the sense that the brush is like a mop and your water is like a squeegee. Notice how I'm going through and scrubbing all those mullions. A lot of times dirt likes to get caught up in those mullions. It's a very important thing to remember. Uh, not only are we cleaning the glass, but we're cleaning the, the sashes, the mullions, the frames, everything. Making sure that we loosen up all the debris. That's, that's all we're doing is we're using... Um, purified water and a brush to scrub and agitate all that dirt, loosening it up and then rinsing it away. I'm rinsing starting from the top, working my way down. We loosened up all the debris and dirt and um, essentially just mixed it in with that purified water. Now we want to rinse all that dirty water off the glass. Um, always scrub, you can scrub from bottom to top, top to bottom, it doesn't matter as long as every inch of the window gets scrubbed and every inch of the window gets rinsed. Here you can see I'm scrubbing the bottom and, and the sash and then scrubbing the top. That frame between the two top and bottom windows, uh, I made sure to give a good scrub. And then once we rinse everything down and move on to the next window, we can always come back and double check once that window has a, had a chance to dry, just to make sure everything dried spot free. If it did it and there's just a few spots, you may be able to wipe them up with a detail rag or just re-scrub them. I'm done, so I'm gonna go ahead and kink this hose. That way we shut off the water supply, which is what I'm showing you now. There's a little hole in the top of the water-fed pole that we just stick that tubing into. 